Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo and today I'm going to show you how to import, export or copy your email signature from Outlook. Now there could be a few reasons why you'd want to import or export your email signature from Outlook. Um, say for example if you're changing computers or if you're moving offices, it makes sense to export your email signature so you can use it on your new computer. So firstly, what we'll do is I'll just show you the quickest and easiest way to copy your email signature out of Outlook um, and it really doesn't take any time at all. Um, what you would do is just open up your Outlook um, and then uh, let's say if you were setting up your Outlook from scratch and you've got no emails in there, uh, you would just basically wait for your Outlook to show that all folders are up to date and then what you can do is go to one of your old sent items as you can see here there's a sent item and you simply select um, the email signature that's there and you um, control C or right click and copy and then uh, that's basically your email signature that you used to use um, and that's why it's in your sent items so um, yeah once you've copied it you can just go into file and then options go into mail and then signatures and then just create a new signature and you simply paste it in there and then hit OK and that's basically your email signature that you uh, used to use um, so I'll just show you now that it works so it's pretty much exactly the same you can um, use it again and um, yeah that's basically the quickest way to um, basically get your old email signature into your new computer is just to open up the sent items and then um, just copy it and then paste it as a new signature. Now if you're actually uh, wanting to export your email signature completely from Outlook you can do that um, it's also quite straightforward as well. I'll just show you how to do that now. So what you'll need to do first of all is you'll need to know the name of the email signature that you're using. So if you've only got one signature like I've got here it's fairly straightforward it's just the name Gordon. Uh, but if you've got multiple signatures, you'll need to know the name here um, of which signature you want to actually export. So for this one, it's quite easy. It's just the name Gordon. So what you'll need to do first is close off Outlook. So make sure it's completely closed. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to export the signature at all. And then what you want to do is hit the Windows key and then the letter R. So that's the opens up the run box here. And then you'll need to go into this section here which has got percentage, user profile, percentage and then the folder app data, roaming, Microsoft and then signatures. So you'll need to go into this exact path and then um, click OK. Alright and then you'll see here uh, you've got a text file, RTF file, HTM file and a folder as well. So since there's only one signature in there you only see they're all called Gordon at the start and um, that's the ones you want to export that, that makes up your signature. Uh, just to confirm you can double click on the HTM file and it opens up the, um, the your, your signature there completely so you can you'll be able to see it there. So in order to export it you just uh, you know plug in your thumb drive or whatever way you've got uh, you want to you know wherever you want to save it in this instance I'll just save it to my desktop um, in a folder called exported signature just to show you how this works so right click on that you can copy or cut it for this instance I'll just cut it so I can show you that it completely disappears from Outlook when it's not there and I'll paste it into this new folder called exported signature so now in this uh, signatures folder in Outlook we don't have any signatures so I'll just open up Outlook and I'll show you that there's no signatures in there so if I hit new email and then go to insert signature you'll see nothing there at all so um, basically you've removed your signature you've exported it and uh, I'll close Outlook again now if you want to import your signature it's exactly the same process just uh, backwards so in reverse um, so if you once you get to the new computer uh, you'd want to firstly uh, open up your Outlook and set up your new mailbox so then that way uh, it creates this folder here this folder structure that's um, up here so yeah uh, open up your Outlook set up your new mailbox make sure it's all synced up to your exchange server and um, and then once it, once it's all synced up you can close it and then again you'll need to go to this directory here um, and I'll just show you what it is 
make sure you get the first part right which is the percentage user profile percentage that basically is a, um, a variable for your user profile um, so whatever your user profile is called it will go into it so whether your name's Gordon whether your name's Michelle whether your name's um, Daniel it'll go to that um, uh, you know that folder and then uh, backslash app data roaming Microsoft signatures so it's important to note that one so yeah on your new computer uh, once again I'll just um, do it from the start so you just uh, Windows key R and then go into there click OK uh, you'll see nothing in there because it's a brand new profile that you set up in Outlook you go to your thumb drive or wherever you've saved your email signature and then you'd want to just right click on that click cut or copy I'll just copy it and then click paste in there okay and now uh, open Outlook again alright and now if we go to a new message you'll see that my signature is straight away in there and um, that's about it actually that's as easy as that there's not much more to it if you're looking for an email signature why not try our email signature generator it's free to use and we've got over 40 templates that you can use they're all free so you can pick the one that you like the most and use it for yourself now the best thing about Gimeo is that you can apply certain fields to all signatures in your group so say for example you have 100 staff members and you've got a website field such as this you can actually apply it to all signatures in the group or just this signature and that makes it really really easy to create multiple signatures at once and really quickly as well thanks very much for watching and see you next time